the history of America's favorite foods. From the surprising history of the french fry to what exactly the mongols did to unintentionally help create the modern day hamburger, here's the history of some of America's favorite foods. But first, we'd like to thank Wilma Gregory for her comment on our 18 Bizarre Insects video. We're glad you're watching and enjoyed the video. Chocolate Chocolate goes back a really long time in human history, but for the majority of the time it was drinking as a bitter beverage. Anthropologists unearthed evidence that the ancient cultures living in present-day Mexico produced chocolate as far back as 1900 BC. The Mayans found chocolate to be so beneficial that they worshipped the god of cocoa. The beans were reserved for warriors and society's elites. By the 16th century, Spanish conquistadors were bringing chocolate back to their native lands, where the expensive import was again only consumed by the wealthy. The first solid, edible chocolate bars were finally created in 1847 by the British company J.S. Fry & Sons. By the late 1800s, recognizable chocolate companies like Cadbury and Hershey's had ushered in a chocolate boom that lasts to this day. An average American eats a reported 12 pounds of chocolate annually. Y'all trying to get diabetes. French fries. While the French have given us the Statue of Liberty and the hot air balloon, it's surprising to learn that despite its name, they did not give us the french fry. The popular fast food item can be traced all the way back to Belgium in the late 17th century. Villagers would fry small fish that they caught in local rivers. Inevitably, the water would freeze in the winter, depriving the villagers of their favorite food source. So as a substitute, they took the root plant and prepared it the same way they would a fish. U.S. soldiers stationed in Belgium during World War I were the first Yankees to get a bite of the food. Since the official language of the Belgian army was French, the soldiers naturally nicknamed the snack French fries. Pasta Archaeologists believe that roots of pasta can be traced all the way back to Asia, where people have been producing noodles for thousands of years. Many credit Marco Polo with bringing noodles to Italy from China in the 13th century. This though is unlikely, as the pasta was already gaining popularity in areas of Italy before the famous travels of the merchant. Some point to the nomadic Arabs as the first to bring early forms of pasta westward. Either way, the food became a staple firmly rooted in Italian culture, where the warm Mediterranean climate was perfect for growing vegetables and herbs, allowing the locals to create a wide variety of pasta sauces. Early Spanish settlers were among the first to bring pasta to the states. Thomas Jefferson helped popularize pasta after trying it and falling in love during his stay in Paris in the 1780s. He enjoyed the dish so much that he returned to the then recently formed United States of America with two cases in tow. Sandwiches Many people attribute the popularity of the sandwich as we know it today to John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich and an unknown cook. Montague is known to have been incredibly fond of gambling. During a particularly long streak in 1762, the Earl simply did not want to stop playing, despite his grumbling stomach. So, he instructed a chef to prepare food for him in a way that wouldn't interfere with his gambling addiction. The clever cook came back with sliced meat resting between two pieces of toast. It was perfect as Montague could enjoy his meal with one hand while still playing cards with the other. While everyone seems to agree that Earl made the sandwich popular in his native England, most agree that he likely got the idea while on excursion in the eastern Mediterranean where he would have seen small canapes and grilled pita breads. Pizza Naples in the 18th century was an independent state that notoriously had a lot of Lazzaroni, or poor working class people. They required a quick, cheap way to eat. Enter pizza, or a flatbread with various toppings, usually tomatoes, cheese oil, and garlic. Italy unified in 1861, and the pizza craze quickly spread throughout Europe and the United States, with pizza shops popping up throughout New York and the rest of the country. Hamburgers Ground meat has been present in societies as far back as ancient Egyptians. Mongol horsemen in the 13th century would use scrapings of lamb or mutton and form them into flat patties. They would place the patties under the saddles of their horses to tenderize the meat and eat them raw while riding into battle. Kind of gross. German immigrants who traveled through the ports of Hamburg on their way to see the United States in the 1800s brought the popular Hamburg steak, which was simply low-grade beef mixed with spices, with them. Several people from different parts of America in the late 1800s claimed to have been the first to come up and sell the modern version of the hamburger. Oscar Weber Bilby started serving beef patties on homemade yeast buns on the 4th of July in 1891. 
Needing something easy for his consumers to eat at the county fair in Seymour, Washington, Charlie Nagreen flattened his meatballs and stuck them between two slices of bread, calling his creation a hamburger in 1885. Finally, the Mensch's brothers started selling hamburgers from their traveling concession circuit at events after coming up with the concept at a fair in Hamburg, New York in the 1880s. Tacos Today, tacos are incredibly popular with shells made of anything from bacon to pieces of chicken. But where did this staple of American dining come from? No one can say definitively where and when the first tacos were made. Jeffrey Pilcher, a history professor from the University of Minnesota who spent two decades studying Mexican food, has a pretty good guess though. He theorizes that the taco's origins can be traced back to silver mines in 18th century Mexico. In those mines, the word taco referred to the small charges they would use to excavate ore. This guess is supported by the fact that one of the first types of tacos was described as tacos de minero, or miner's taco. In the 1950s, Glenn Bell came up with the idea to sell crispy shell tacos from his hamburger stand. Eventually, he would sell the Mexican food item by the millions through his Taco Bell fast food chain to people across the country. Hot dogs. Like ground beef sausage has been around for years, it's one of the oldest forms of processed food. Emperor Caesar's cook, Gaius, is often given credit for being the first person to stuff pig intestines with ground venison and beef mixed with wheat and spices in the first century AD. But who was the first to put a sausage link in a bun? Our German peddler sold hot sausages in the street of St. Louis in the late 1880s. He would give his customers white gloves so they wouldn't burn their hands while eating the links. His wife suggested fashioning bread to hold the links instead, so the peddler went to his brother-in-law, a baker, to fashion a bun for his treats, creating the first ever hot dog bun. During the 1860s, as a way to sell his baked goods to construction workers, baker Charles Feltman began selling sausages on rolls. Sushi. In the past two decades or so, sushi has become incredibly popular in the United States, thanks to it being recognized as a healthy and relatively inexpensive alternative to junky American fast food. Many people know that sushi is a food staple in Southeast Asia, and this is where its origins can be traced. People throughout Southeast Asia would preserve fish by fermenting it in rice. Sometime during the Muromaki period in Japan, people began eating the rice as well as the fish. In the 1820s, chefs started making sushi with raw fish, which is known as Edo-style sushi. At the turn of the 20th century, food service stall vendors in Tokyo invented Nigeri sushi, a raw fish placed on top of rice. Today, sushi is a common meal of choice for people around the world. Burritos. Burritos are relatively new compared to most of these other American food staples. One of the first known mentions of a burrito is from a Mexican dictionary from 1895, which describes the food as a rolled tortilla with meat and other ingredients inside. The term burrito was popular in the central Mexican state of Guanajuato, and this is likely where the food item came from. The first burrito to pop up on a menu in the United States was at the El Cholo Cafe in Los Angeles in the 1930s. The Mission Burrito, or a burrito wrapped in a tortilla and then wrapped in aluminum foil, sold at places like Chipotle, originated in San Francisco and has become perhaps the most popular form of food in the United States. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, and I'll catch you next time.